I'm here at the Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad Museum in my hometown of Nevada City, California. Hear that? We're going to have a very special guest here today, a very special piece of rolling stock new to the museum. This place is very special to me because my mom, Juanita Brown, wrote the book on the Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad history. The Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad connected the gold rush towns of Grass Valley and Nevada City to the rest of the world. The Transcontinental Railroad ran from Reno to Colfax and did not come through our area, and so the best and easiest and simplest solution was to create the Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad to get men and equipment into the mines and get the gold out of the mines. 23 miles long, ran from 1874 till the beginning of World War II, 1942. Hauled millions of dollars of gold out of the gold mines, big gold mines like Empire Mine here locally, Idaho, Maryland Mine, and the railroad never got robbed. The Nevada County Narrow Gauge Railroad was also famous for having the first female president run the railroad, Sarah Kidder, when her husband John passed away, she took over the presidency of the railroad and for the first time in the railroad's history, ran at a profit. So let's go down and meet a very special guest and a long time co-conspirator in crime and various act nefarious activities over the years, my old friend from high school, Tim O'Brien, and see what he's brought to the Railroad Museum today. Tim, what have you got here? We got one great big Burton Railroad locomotive is what we have here. Man, it is hot in here. It's all, <laughs> Lord, it's hot enough outside, but it's even hotter here. Who's your friend here? I recognize him. Chad, Chad, Chad how you doing? This is an 1889 Porter steam locomotive, authentic, mm -hmm. owned by uh, Les and Casey Wilmunder. Uh, they're the operators and the engineers of it. Chad's the longtime fireman of it here. We brought it here to the museum about uh, three months ago and uh, it's just a wonderful thing to come over here and play with and so uh the the family has owned this since since when since how long chad uh jeez let me think how les's dad bought this for scrap in uh, 1946 after World War II and 46 mm -hmm. yeah and it came from sacramento sacramento brick company that's and where it spent its whole life and its job there was to... They hauled mud and bricks from the pond to the kiln and back and forth on about a three-quarter mile stretch of track. Wow. With no tender, it just the engine. And um, before that, what was its... That's history? it. They bought it. The brick really? company bought it brand new. Wow. You know where Huntington One Hopkins... One-time owner. You know where Huntington Hopkins hardware store is? Mm, I don't old know. Sacramento. Old Sacramento. Yeah. Sacramento. Right there. That's oh, where they ordered it. Really? Yep. What saved this engine yeah. is uh, after... Dirt before the war, it was pushed off into the side, into the dirt where nobody could get to it. Uh -huh. Now, during the war, there was a big scrap drive, and so mm -hmm. everyone was scrapping everything. They couldn't get to this engine it because it was down. Was, oh, really? So, uh -huh. so um, Hal Wilmunder owned a crane company mm -hmm. and was able to get in there and crane this engine out and take it home and, and restore it. And slowly yeah. restored it over time, and then he ran it for a while in Palermo, you, you were saying? Uh, actually, he ran it in uh, a little railroad called the Antelope and Western, which huh. was in Antelope, a little tourist railroad they ran. It then, I believe, went to Camino mm -hmm. and operated up there for a while. Mm -hmm. It spent some time at the California State Railroad Museum and uh, 
And we had it here actually about six years ago. Is it going to stay here for a while, you think? A couple of years. At least two years. It's on wow. lease two years. Yeah. Great. So show us some of the operations. It's still wood fired. Look at that. Yep. Oh, man. Scrap wood, cardwood. Yeah. And let's go for a ride. Okay. Fire this baby up. So we got the water halfway in the tank oh, here. We're, we're good to go. We're good to go. We've got steam brakes, steam throttle. Yeah. We're going to start moving. Okay. Whistle. <laughs> Yeah, what we're doing is we're using the throttle. Okay, which one's the throttle? This will be the okay. throttle here. This is our direction. Okay. So when we're going down the hill, we have the direction here, reverse. Yeah. But if we start going too fast, we can move this lever forward mm -hmm. and turn the engine into an air compressor, basically. Uh, okay. And it helps us slow down without the brake. Yeah, compress the braking. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of back and forth coordination that happens yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. That's now you got to talk and drive at the same time, or do you say talk and fly? Yeah. And this is the oldest run. This is the oldest running quarter locomotive in California. Really? 1889. 1889 with its original boiler. Wow. Alrighty. So. Time for some more wood. Yep. <laughs> Little bits of two by four scrap is all it takes. Huh? Yep. <laughs> You're not burning. Uh, what was the, the cordwood on the old, the big steamers they used to burn? How much oh, yeah. cordwood was that? A lot. lot. <laughs> A lot. Ports it was cords. 25 cords to get from Rockland to Cisco Grove. Wow. On the Central Pacific. Mm. Transcontinental Railroad. One, two, three, two. Yeah, that's good. Now we can kick it around with a brake. That's good, Kate. All the bronzes and all of the new wrist pins, new bronzes here, shoes. It's all, all been rebuilt. All rebuilt. It's all brand new. Yeah. And so uh, here's the cylinders that do the work. Right. So it, it bangs on both sides. Right. Double uh, acting, they call it. Mm -hmm. So the boiler is right there. Yeah. And the water tank is that big saddle sitting on top. Correct. Of it. But this portion is not under any pressure. This is the smoke box. This is where all the, the gases oh, okay. from the fire come before they go up the stack. Uh huh. And you got yeah. kind of a spark arrest. That's why these have this shape of a. You can tell it's a wood burner by the Correct. shape of the chimney, right? Correct. It's for fire protection to keep the cinders uh -huh. in, the, in where they belong yes. instead of out on the road. Out in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> and what's this access in the front here? I'll is that for That's inspection? And for cleaning the boiler. Uh huh. This is where the tubes are that convey the hot air from the fire up to the through the boiler. You can see the tubes. Right. Oh yeah. And there's the fire. See back the fire in there. in there. Uh huh. Yep. So behind those holes is where the pressure is. Right. Kerosene and lamp. Kerosene headlight. Wow. And on a on a dark night, it'll shine all the way up really? to the parking lot. Huh. Yeah. And the same thing, but different on the other side yep. here. Just a mirror copy. Yep. We generally don't keep the tender tank full unless we're going down into the meadow for fire danger. Uh -huh. So that we have our fire pump, we can put out. We have 500 gallons we can yeah, pump Yeah, when the you're fire. messing around here all day, well, that, that'd be plenty of water for a day's messing around. Oh, yeah, this tank will be plenty of water really? for a day. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's economical. Yeah. Uh -huh. It probably, in a day, it probably uses, I would say, three to 400 gallons of water if you're yeah. working it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And that little stack of wood back there, is that enough for an afternoon? That'll run about half a day. Half a day? Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. And then we'll go down back down to the wood pile and load up again, <laughs> just go. like the old days. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Huh. It's a lot of work, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, man. Yeah. Thanks so much for bringing this up. Sure. Come on, kid. 
kids. Follow me. Climb on up here. close to the operation of it. So I'm going to show them that fire inside there. Look at that. So what, what's making that fire, kids? Look behind you. That wood right there. So it's just a wood fire like a wood stove. With a giant, with a giant teapot on top. Yep, yep a giant teapot and a steam engine. Yep. You guys ready to go? Hang on here, kids. It's, there you go. Hang on, mate. That's cool. It gets a little loud. Pinewood for quick steam. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay, we're gonna try and make this steep grade up here. We've got the, the, the firebox full of wood. We've closed the blower to the fire. The engineer says that the draft from the cylinders will be plenty to pull that fire through. Keep that fire blazing. Of course, we got plenty of water for the grade as well. More steam. That's it. Thank you, guys. Andy, come here. Come here. Okay. You see that right there? Just give it a little pull. Go ahead. Just pull it. Nice job. <laughs> hey, see okay. that rope over there? See this one here? Oh, let's go pull Burger. that rope over there. Wait a minute. Just Give watch it. Hey! He's done it all. All right. Good. <laughs> Stay away all from right. that hot yeah, stuff there. It's hot. That's hot yeah. back there. It's a hot wood stove. You want to give that a try? 
Okay. Okay, take this guy here. Face your dad. He's taking a picture of <laughs> Give it one little tug. <laughs> okay, over here's the bell. Let's pull the rope. Yeah, all right. All right. Nice job. <laughs>